You see how I'm letting this touch the side of it? You see how I'm doing a little line? Just a little further. Oh, too far. Look, back it up to where it's touching it, like that. Okay? Come on down. All right, so today we're back in the garden. Um, we never um, come back the next day. We took a break yesterday and went and hung out with some friends. Um, and it was just so hot. Um, but we did go and get some more seed that we needed, some more pickling cucumbers and some more okra. Um, but right now we are planting cucumbers and um, getting everything else. We almost got this side completed. We're getting everything else for the other side ready. So that is what we're doing today. And hopefully we'll have everything planted by the end of the day. Mommy, help it. Mama's got a bad back. It is a blessing to have kids that are willing to help you in the garden <laughs> because I've been to the doctor the last, actually I was at the doctor a couple days ago and to rule out a problem with my kidneys. I had to stop my vitamin D a supplement just in case it was causing issues and it was just a thing she thinks it's just a pulled muscle but I'm very thankful I can do a little bit and then it'll start hurting again so very thankful for my wonderful kids that are willing to help me and Josh get this planted and they're excited about doing it Should I plant all the way yep all the way to that stick you're almost there planting that rope. no all right so she's wrapping up this and then this will be planted as far as vegetable goes Josh did me ripped me off a little section here so I can plant flowers here because um, it would just be two little short rows and I could probably plant something here as far as food but I love having flowers in the garden and I have a dedicated space here to do something I may do like sunflowers here or something um, like that so I'm gonna walk you through and tell you what we got planted so far um, each row. This is okra. This is pickling cucumbers. This whole row. This is straight eights and the Ancash market cucumbers. So more like slicers. Another full row of okra. Then we have some royal purple Royal, Royal Burgundy, the purple green beans, some rattlesnake beans down there, another full row of the rattlesnake beans, and then a full row of mountain half runners. So that's Josh's favorite. These are my favorite. The purple ones are the kids' favorite. So we have everybody covered in beans. And then I'm also going to take these little metal things. I'm going to bring them up here and fix them somewhere i've got those really long red noodle beans um that i've never grown i want to grow some up here i was wanting to do the hog panel cattle panel trellis up here but um i don't know if i'll be able to do that before i need to go ahead and get that stuff planted right now so um and we plan to use the hog cattle panels that we have up here for the beans Josh wants to do that with them this year instead of string so I'm probably gonna try to do that but now we're going to go over here 
and do this side which is tomatoes peppers and squash and zucchini all right so they're working on getting this chicken tractor fixed um so we can Hammer. put our little ornery rooster in it he keeps attacking the kids and um He's not being very nice to the other rooster. So we're going to keep the other rooster. We're going to get rid of him. We're just waiting for somebody to come get him. Um, and he'll go to a new home. But for now, he's going to go in this. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. You can finally get eggs in peace again. Yes. <laughs> now I don't get the frogs no more. You still have to get the eggs from this one. <laughs> So you ain't fooling me. But he won't hurt me. He don't lay no eggs. He <laughs> is a rooster. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got most of the squash planted. We still got to get some zucchini plants um, for that last row. We got all of my tomatoes that I started planted. And we're going to probably go buy a few more six packs and do another row of tomatoes and um then we're gonna plant the rest of our peppers probably buy some peppers as well like this row if we want to do half of that whatever you hot pepper thing or not a jalapenos it's not hot what is it it's called a not a pino. it's not a jalapeno <laughs> well if you plant them and then little hot peppers beside of it is that gonna make them hot? That's what I was wondering. Probably plant those beside the banana peppers. All right, so we got everything that we could planted. We're working on watering everything in really good. Some of the tomato plants were a little dry just because how that shelf in there kind of tilts and some of them get really wet and some of them don't get anything. So um, they're um, we went ahead and put them in the ground, getting them watered in. We're going to have to go buy some more plants to fill in the rest of our rows. But everything is done that we can possibly do right now. Then we went ahead and watered everything up here. I planted some random nasturums here and there um, yesterday. And then I got my basil planted right here. And then I've still got some basil I'm going to give away and some chamomile, some poppies, some dill, and some green onions that didn't come out. One little tomato sprout that seedling that I found in my dill. So I took it out and separated it. These right here are holy basil, asters, and dahlias flowers. Um, I've got these two that don't have anything in them. Um, we may go ahead and try some carrots and see how they do. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet. Um, probably some flowers. Probably some flowers in these two with the carrots. And then I've got some other flowers I'm going to plant around the house and just different places here and there. So with that said, we are done. We're ready to go in and get a shower and eat supper. So I've got the rooster. He is separated back here and with a couple hands just to keep him occupied for a few days and hopefully somebody will claim him and want him. If not, I guess we'll have to call him. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and God bless.